tutorial for how to automate a batch of photos or how to change a bunch of photos at the same time with the same actions in Photoshop. So this is great if you want to change a whole group of pictures but you don't want to take the time to change in each individual one at the same time. So let me just move these things over. Okay, so what you want to do is go to your images. So we needed to move this over a little bit. Pull your images into Photoshop and make sure you have all of the pictures that you want to change in a folder by themselves. So I'm just going to grab one of my images and pull into Photoshop. In this case, I have a group of photos that I want to change into grayscale images. I want to get rid of all of the color. I know, can you believe it? Isn't that great color? So what I'm going to do before you change anything, since I want to change all of my photographs the same way, you're going to go up to Window, open the Actions window. Shows up like this. You're going to click on this square, I'm circling it with my mouse, on the bottom that has a little flap like it's a page that's turning and that's going to let you create a new action. So you want to name it whatever you're changing. Maybe you're changing the contrast, the threshold, I don't know, what, making it into a sketch, making it into a painting. I'm just going to put um, Lake Powell Gray Scale. And then you hit record. After you hit record, this the red circle is going to be, well, the gray circle before is going to turn red. And that means that you every action you make is going to be recorded under Lake Powell Grayscale or whatever you named it. So I'm just going to go up to Image, Adjustments, sorry. And I'm going to go to, um, let's see, I could go to Hue and Saturation or I could just change it into Grayscale, but I'll just do it this way. So I just need to be able to see what I'm changing here. And I'm going to press OK. My pictures were a little bit overexposed, all of them, so I'm going to go to, um, there's so many ways to do this, I'm just going to go to levels and I want some of those darks to come back in there. So, not quite that dark, but that shadow looks way cool now. Yeah, sure. Just like that. Okay, so those are all the actions I want changed. I also want to save it. Okay, now since those are all of the actions that I want to do, I'm going to, and I'm changing the images. If you wanted to change, save them into a different folder, you would just go to save as, but I'm just going to re save them all, just in this folder, not the original files. And I am going to click stop. That's everything that I want to do. So now I'm going to go, now I want to change all of the pictures at once. So I go to file, automate, a batch. And my action should be the first one that shows up since I just recorded it, which it is, like Pal Grayscale. And all of my other actions are here. So make sure you press stop or I'm not sure if it will show up here. So you, I've got it there. My source folder is this automated batch. So that's the folder that I want to choose. So choose your source folder. Then um, choose your destination folder. And if it keeps doing the save as, like I always overwrite it just because it takes forever to do save as, save as, save as. So press OK. And it's going to start changing all of those pictures for you. If your computer's faster than mine, then it'll probably do this a lot faster. <laughs> I chose to do to change not as many as I would have before, just so that you can see the changes um, as it makes them. I think I only have six images that it's changing, but I've done this with 40 images. I've done it with 420 from my China trip. Maybe not that many, but it was quite a few. And this is awesome because if I want to make the changes or add kind of a special filter or effect, it's going to do it to every single one of my pictures on its own. I can even walk out of the room and it's doing it. And so once it's closed, that means that they should be safe. Well, I don't know why I did that, but apparently not. So it's still, as you can see, each it goes to a new picture and then goes hue levels, uh, hue saturation levels and save. So how did Maddie end up in there? Okay, so that should be the last one. Okay, 
So it's not playing anymore. So now make sure that that is actually the case. And it looks like it did change all of my images. So I'm just gonna click on one to make sure it's how I want it to be. Looks pretty good. Um, this image wasn't one of my landscapes, so I think the threshold is a little bit too much, but that's how you would create an automated batch. Pretty simple, I hope it helps you and have a great day.